Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming and today we're going to talk about peak rep and peak hill. Some super useful utilities you can use on the command line instead of having to do this garbage where you guys are in the comments you're talking about, oh yeah, I do a PS minus EF, pipe for grep my program and then I grep dash V grep. Get the hell out of here with that stuff, right? We're talking about peak hill, we're talking about peak rep. Your life's about to change for the better, all right? So let's jump in. What are we doing with? What do we got here? Well, cool. We actually have a C program. Not bash. That's not bash. Can you believe it? We actually have a real programming language. Oh my god, let's talk about this. So what does this program do? I wrote this program specifically for you guys to illustrate this concept. So what does it do? Simplest program in the world. We just pause. All this program does is it starts and it pauses. It hangs. It doesn't execute. It's equivalent to sleeping forever. That's all it does. Technically speaking, it actually pauses until a signal is received, but we'll deal with that later. So that's all this program does. So if we run it, it just hangs. Cool. Awesome. So what can we do? Well, let's run it, but let's put it in the background. We use an ampersand, put it in the background. And we know, because we're on the shell, it's PID is 68342. But let's say you were running a script, or you had this already running on a machine and you wanted to find it. And you, let's say, no output. We don't know what it is. Uh-oh. What is that? I have no idea. Well, how do we find it? Well, we know the name of the program is my program, so maybe we'll do this cringe thing you guys have been talking about. Let's grep for my program. What do we have? Well, we have two results. We have this, and then we have the actual grep itself. Because remember, grep is a program that's running at the time that PS is running. They both get executed at the same time. This is technically a race condition. The fact that we see this, we're lucky. It's possible that we may not actually see this. So what do we do? Well, a lot of people just say you do this. You grep dash V grep. We filter out grep. Cool, now grep is gone. We're just left with my program. We know the PIDs here. So how do we grab that? Well, we can maybe pipe it to awk, and we could grab the second field, just like a nice sysadmin. And there we go, we have our PAD. That sucks. Come on, guys. It's 2023. Grow up. P grep, my program. Done. There it is. There's your PID. You want more information about it? P grep dash L. There you go. It actually gives you the PID and it gives you the program name with all the arguments. They would appear over here. That's how you use P grep. It's super simple. And then if you wanted to, I don't know, maybe kill it, you could do P grep and then you could pipe it to XRX kill. Even that's overkill, right? Look at this. P kill my program this will kill every instance of a program named my program be very careful with this if you were to type something like p kill firefox goodbye browser but let's p kill my program bam terminated it's gone now if we were to p grep for it nothing shows up if we were to do that atrocious psef nothing shows up bam there you go that's how to use p kill and p grep